Okay, we're back for part two of the uh, start of a batch burn in the attack boiler. We're just about up to the initial uh, fire up temperature. And actually you can see that it just went to the normal display now that just alternates between uh, boiler temperature and exhaust temperature. And if we take a look in the firebox here, it's about what the fire looks like. We're ready to close the door. And the attack boiler has a called a reducer fan to pull air through the boiler. And basically it's the back of the boiler, it's pulling air through the boiler. So when I have the door open like this, I'm not getting any smoke into the room. Or at least it's very difficult to get smoke into the room. It's possible, but haven't experienced anything objectionable. So now we're gonna latch the door and let the boiler do its thing for the duration of the burn. And uh, get a look at that. <clears throat> so when you look at boilers and you, you wanna have one with the, the fan on the back of the boiler, this is the fan right here. That's very close to the exhaust. And that's an inducer fan as opposed, opposed to a forced induction. And if you had a boiler with force, typically they'll have that, a fan assembly about right here, blowing air into the firebox. Uh, you're much more likely to get smoke uh, on a reload. So in my mind, that's, that's not the way to go, but everybody goes their own way. So that's about it. It's been about less than 10 minutes and we're done. We can just leave the room and let this thing do it, this boiler do its job because the rest is automatic. And that's it.